All right, we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of these valves out. You can see I got one out already, or one, I took one spring off anyway, and I was mistaken. I thought when I was looking down through the spring that those were umbrella type valve stem seals, um, but they are not. They are just the little stem seal. I don't know if you can see that or not. Little tiny seal that goes around the stem right underneath the keeper. Um, I was surprised at that. But anyway, um, so they're, they're obviously they'll be replaced. But I'm, so far, this first one, this valve guide's nice and tight. So I don't see any issue there. I'll go ahead and get the rest of these springs off and uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep looking at them and, and we'll see what we got here. So gotta kind of keep track of where I'm at here. So this is number one cylinder we're working on right here. So, so we'll see. That first one came off pretty, oh yeah, there we go. Kind of don't want to get my fingers in there necessarily, so I just kind of reach in there with this pick and get that seal off there because that retainer hangs up on the seal trying to come off. And I don't want things going haywire here. Okay, two keepers, seal, and we just gently unload this, and there we go, retainer falls off, there's the spring, seat, and yeah, that one feels pretty good too, I mean, I just am not going to go to the expense to have these valve guides replaced. Um, we'll take a look at the valves here. I don't know if you can see this very well or not. I'll try. I'll try to get up there for you. Um, not bad. We'll lap them in and we'll just stick some grinding compound on there and lap those things in and, uh, see how it comes out. I think it'll be just fine. So really not not worried about it um no more use this little tractor probably isn't going to get a ton of use to be honest with you so it's not like i'm going to be using it every day it's not like i'm going to be using it hard so if we gotta oh, that one's stuck every once in a while you gotta tap these things those retainers are just stuck sometimes so there we go. Ooh, right inside the water jacket. <laughs> there we go. That should come off over that valve, that seal, but no, it doesn't. So, I guess it probably shouldn't, actually. So, we'll just snake that dude off there. There we go. Release this one. Okay. still see here.
Uh, those valve stem seals are really brittle. They're just falling apart in my hands, so. Okay, that. Yeah, so seat looks pretty good. Um, like I say, guides are pretty tight. I've seen them way worse than that before. That one's got a little play. That one's good. Um, let's just take a look at a face of that valve. Yeah, not bad. Um, they're a little sunken, a little recessed, but I think they'll be okay. I don't think they're going to need to be ground. Um, I think we'll just lap them back in by hand. All those guides feel pretty tight. That one might be... Seems like the exhausts are tighter than the intakes. I'll have to look at the book. Maybe that's by design, but yeah, I think they'll be okay. So I think we'll just clean this head up the rest of the way. I'll uh, clean those valves all up, get them all shined up, clean all the springs, retainers, and everything. Then once our gasket kit gets here um, with our valve stem seals, we'll lap those things back in, clean it one more time, put her, put it back together. It'll be good to go. All right, I think that's about it for disassembly. Uh, I keep saying that and then I find other things. The only thing left, I'm gonna, since I lost a rod bearing, I'm gonna pull that oil pump apart and take a look inside that, see what that looks like just in case. Um, I'd, I'd be surprised if one's available because it is. it basically is the main bearing cap as well, or sits on top of the main bearing cap, so I don't know, maybe. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so that's where we stand. We're all disassembled. We're ready to mic everything out so that we know the parts to order. Get them coming. Well, so that's disassembly. I know I've kind of drugged this on, but it um, took me a while. You know, I'll work on it bits and pieces here and had to fabricate up some stuff. But uh, anyway, she's all apart and... Um, Looking forward to uh, getting things all nice and clean, get everything scoped out, get parts on the way. And um, yeah, there won't be much to report from here on out other than uh, cleaning. That's boring, so you don't want to watch that. Um, so anyway, once again, thanks everybody for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying this. I know I'm enjoying filming it. I'm enjoying doing it. I'm really looking forward to the result, the end result. And uh, I hope you keep tuning in. So once again, like... Uh, like, if you would, hit that hit that thumbs up button. 
Um, subscribe. That'd be great. Hit that, uh, ring that notifications bell. So every time I post a video, you'll know. And uh, I'll try not to post anything that's just not unworthy. And, uh, and, and you can continue to join me on this thing. So, okay. Thanks, everybody. Here's the underside of the block. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty clean. And you can see down, clear down in there, that water jacket's nice and clean. There's no buildups or anything anywhere. I don't see any pitting. There was talk about pitting and perforations or something like that. I don't know. Everything looks okay to me. So I think we'll be okay just to back together so yeah good deal